All right, here's another video. I need to touch on it because I feel it's necessary. So I just watched Chris Crocker's video of Prop 8, the Prop 8 thing. I've been watching a lot of other people's videos on the Prop 8 thing, and I feel like I need to contribute because um, it's a big subject for me, and um, I'm very... I'm very grateful that I live in a, uh, a state that has legalized gay marriage. I live in the state of Connecticut. Um, so, you know, I, along with, you know, like the other surrounding states around me, um, it's, you know, it shows that people in all different parts of the country are starting to accept who others are for who they are and what they are. And it shows a lot about our society in general because that means that people in high power and people that are, you know, in, um, you know, positions to change things and make decisions like that are really starting to be open, more open-minded and um, broadening their horizons on people that they're representing. But I still think it's really unnecessary and ridiculous that um, the state of California has overturned their decision yet again. So, and I don't know why that is. And I, I have an idea that maybe there's like some big conspiracy or someone got paid to say no. Um, but that's just me being a retard. But aside from that, um, you know, like Chris Cocker made a good point. He's like, our society is ready for equality. And he was also right when he was talking about the different generations and um, the older generations are the, are the culprits basically for a lot of these, you know, um, unaccepting decisions, I guess you could say. You know, it's the older generations of people who aren't as open-minded or are open-minded, period, um, like the younger generations are. This generation is about <clears throat> teaching your kids and teaching the young adults and teaching, um, you know, people in general of acceptance and of accepting, you know, others for who they are because everybody is different. Everyone has their own personality and has their own sense of self and no one is going to be perfect. And, um, you know, the whole, the whole thing on, you know, separation of church and state and blah, blah, blah. Well, most of the decisions that's made in this, in this country today is based off of some religious aspect. You know, um, it's, it's, it's getting ridiculous. It's, it's really ridiculous. And Chris Crocker said that, you know, um, people will look back on um, the homosexual marriage and, and same-sex marriages as, you know, with much disgust as slavery. And whoever said that to, to, to spark that was is just so mentally ill that you would say that. I mean, you're comparing two people who love each other, who would like to spend the rest of their lives with each other and bond in marriage together like anybody else would, any heterosexual couple, to a time in, in our country's past where, you know, humans were treated like animals and humans were um, owned by other, other humans and, and just made to do just horrible things. And you're comparing that to, to love and happiness? I mean, that's like comparing, you know, me taking my happy dog for a walk down the street with my best friend compared to the Holocaust. It doesn't make sense to me. It's it's completely and and utterly just it's disgusting. It's, it's really just disgusting to me. <clears throat> so, they're wrong. This country will will come around eventually. And it's on its way right now. It's, it's already in the works. The revolution and, and, you know, everything to evolve is now. It's happening. It's, it's happened, you know, at and, and some points or another. I mean, it's, hap it's happened in the state of Connecticut. It's happened in the state of New York and, and, and wherever else it's legal to get to, for same-sex couples to get married. You know, and I thought that California, being like the gay capital of the world... You know, everyone wants to go to Palm Springs, California, and Los Angeles, California, and, and it was already decided once that homosexuals can get married in the state of California, but then they overturned it. So I'm a little leery on giving them that many that much credit. But um, so this country needs to to wake up. This country needs, you know, <clears throat> another thing too is 
our country is always out there saving other countries and bailing out other countries and being the role model for other countries. Well, if you're going to be the role model in times of war and depression and fighting and stuff like that, why don't you give a little, little bit of, you know, commitment to other sides of the spectrum, which is happiness and love and acceptance and treating all your citizens and everyone that lives in your country like equals. And that includes homosexual people and heterosexual people. So, I mean, I'm 16 years old and I can tell you that. And people are an office. I don't know. And I'm not that bright. So whatever. But that's that's how it is. That's reality and reality sucks.